Right here, in the east part of town. Excellent news. Wang Tai Shin must be there. You will go inside and free the official, and we'll stand outside the gates and hold back the samurai reinforcements. Try to act fast.
Well, hello, my young friend. Huang Taixin? Could it be that you're Fudo? Do I look like a Sohei? <laughs> no, Dao Kung. We are simply business partners. We were brought together by the Ryukyo merchants, with whom I have dealt with for many, many years. My task was to feed Fudo and his helpers information. For example, I told them about the temple where one of the Heshibi pieces was moved to, conveniently revealed to me by a group of Shaolin monks. Moreover, I had to prevent the news of Wuku attacks from getting out, blaming it all on regular bandits or villagers' tall tales. The merchants regularly paid me for all this. How does Fudo plan to use the Heshibi? He intends to summon an army of spirits and use it to establish a new order in his country, one without samurai, clans, or wars. His plan is as melodramatic and naive as Fudo himself. But if anyone can do it, it's him. You won't listen to me, of course. But a final word of advice, Dao Kung. Let that madman take the Hashibi and go back to where he came from. You're right, I won't. Farewell, Huan Taixing. On their return home, the heroes discovered that Fudo's troops had attacked their camp in their absence. The defenders had fought bravely against the greater pirate force, but eventually, one after another had fallen in battle. The bodies of Shang Lung, Yin, and Jin were mounted on their own staffs, and only the wounded leader of the monks was left alive. Fudo hadn't finished off Guan Li, but he had called up the white fire and burned the monks' eyes. He then took the shards of Heishibi, which were kept in the camp, and disappeared with the remains of the army as quickly as he had appeared. We have buried our brothers, but this will not weaken our resolve. We must find and attack the main Wuku base before Fudu obtains the third shard. It won't be easy to find, but Lu Hai Bo has an idea. Everything suggests that Fudu's main base is located not on the mainland, but on one of the islands east of Wenzhou. I have called together my old comrades, experienced captains, smugglers, and even adventure seekers and they have agreed to help us with our search. After all, life will be easier for them if the Wuku are gone. This won't be a quick process, but it's the best we can do for now. And another thing. During the battle, we clashed with the Sohei, Japanese monks like Fudo himself. These warriors are incredibly strong and equal in skill to the Shaolin monks. Be careful when engaging them in battle. <laughs> 